What is a really good bait to use in deep water? You're going to fish down deep, 20 foot plus, pretty deep, 20 foot plus. Good morning guys and girls and happy Valentine's Day. That's right. Happy Valentine's Day. Listen, don't tell Chris, but I just want to ask all you pretty girls out there, all you pretty girls to be my Valentine just for today. Okay? Be my Valentine just for today. And I know a bunch of you said, I'm ready for dinner, Jimmy. Just show up. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably hoping I don't show up at your house. But then again, you might. You might, particularly if I'm bringing a credit card. But, uh, hey, it is Valentine's Day, and I'm saying uh, you need to do something special for and or. I, let me just say and, not and or. And or get something very special for your Valentine today. You know, having a Valentine is a big, big deal. Having a Valentine is a big deal. So do something very special for or and Get something very special for your Valentine. We're looking at 2 Timothy 1.7 this morning. 2 Timothy 1.7. God has not given us the spirit of fear. I love this verse. I love this verse. I've lived by this verse ever since coronavirus came out. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. In other words, a good common sense. God's wisdom is what he's really talking about here. 2 Timothy 1.7. This was a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the, the young preacher that he was mentoring, Timothy. Tournament fishermen are pretty much bulletproof. <laughs> I got a lot of you good tournament guys out there right now say, Amen, Jimmy, we are bulletproof. We throw caution to the wind. We go miles and miles under any type of situation or condition just to try to catch a good string of fish. If you're prone to fear, tournaments are not your game. Tournaments are not your game. Fear is a bad thing, not a good thing. Fear is a bad thing. You hear me? Not a good thing. And here's a really key deal. It's definitely not a God thing. Definitely not a God thing. By the way, I'm reading from our Catch a Better Life book. We've got those books available, jimmyhouston.com. It's got a fishing tip for every day of the year, a devotional built around fishing uh, and a scripture. Scripture, a fishing tip, and a devotional for every single day of the year. We just wrote this book in the last year and a half uh, or so. It took, a, uh, it took almost two years to get this written, but it will absolutely make your life better. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. Fear comes from the devil. The devil, that's where fear comes from. You heard that, uh, that uh, Christian song, Fear is a Liar? That's it. Uh, fear is a liar. Fear comes from the devil. He will do all he can, all he can, to put fear in your mind and in your heart. He won't just put it in your head, he'll put it in your heart. God has given us the spirit of power to overcome fear, and it's a spirit of love. That's right, that's what this verse says. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. We know that God loves us so much, God loves us so very much that he holds us tight through the scariest, the scariest of life storms. And I've been in them. I've been in them, I know. A sound mind and godly wisdom gives us answers to the most frightening questions. Fear not. Live today by that. Fear not. I ain't scared is what a redneck would say. I ain't scared. Fear not. Live today by that. Live your life by that. We have so many people in this country and I'm sure all around the world scared to death of COVID. And COVID was a big deal. COVID killed 700,000 people in this country, America, in 2020. Killed 900,000 in 2021. But when you stop and think about it just a little bit, over 600,000 people every year die by heart disease. Over 650,000 die by cancer. That's year in and year out, every year, every year, every year, every year. Many of the people that died with by COVID, the 700,000 and 900,000, many of those had complications that were heart trouble. Many of them had complications that were cancer. And uh, the COVID death was a, 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 a part of that, a part of that. And I'm not making COVID diminishing it at all. It did take a lot of lives. But we don't really lock ourselves in our houses or quit associating with people or change our life or close our schools or close our churches 
because somebody has a heart attack or because somebody gets cancer. We do a lot of things in our lifestyle to try to keep from having heart problems or to keep from having cancer and we probably should be doing a lot of things in our lifestyle to keep from catching the COVID as well. But can I tell you, that disease was driven more by fear than anything I've ever seen in my life. And that's just some personal opinion. I don't know how scientific that is, but so many of my friends were just scared to death of it. So many of them are still scared to death of it right now. And we're just about to hopefully say goodbye to it. There's gonna still be people catch COVID, still people die of it. I caught COVID, nearly everybody I know's had COVID, nearly everybody I know. And I've, I've lost family member to COVID, I've lost friends to COVID. They had a lot of other stuff wrong with them too. Uh, but I'm just saying you don't need to be afraid of it. I'm just saying you don't need to be afraid of it. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Forget about COVID. The devil has been trying to put fear in your heart and soul all your life. Ever since the moment you became a believer, you become a Christian, that was one of the tools the devil uses is to put fear in your heart and in your mind about so many things, so many things. He tries to do that every day. God's not giving you a spirit of fear, He's giving you a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, devil, you're a liar. Fear, you're a liar. God's given us the power to overcome fear. Here's our tip for today. Use heavier scrounger head jigs dressed with a Lucky Strike swim bait in deep water. Scrounger head is one that's uh, got the wobble head on it and it really puts a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, it's got a little plastic wobble head on it. Now we're designing one with a metal head as a matter of fact for that scrounger, but it's, uh, it's like a chatter bait. Use the heavy scrounger head. We make those in pretty heavy heads. Put a swim bait on the end of them to get down deep. It'll get down deep quick and it'll really, really catch those fish down in deep water, particularly when you can find a big school of them down there. Guys and girls go out there and have you a great day today. And tonight, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. Oh man, I tell you what, it's one of the most exciting days of the year, I believe. And it is one of the best things that ever happens in the month of February. I know some of you are born in February, that's a great thing. But Valentine's Day, some of you were born on Valentine's Day. Happy birthday, happy Valentine's Day, and happy Valentine's Day to my beautiful, beautiful wife, Chris. Y'all have a great one, and remember, remember, I sure do love you.